It's all about the conversation. Arrow.net. A-R-R-O-E.net. We are unplugged and totally uncut with Frankie Grande. Hi, Arrow. Hey, long time no talk to, Frankie. How you doing? Exactly. It's been, what, like a week? <laughs> yeah, but see, I just, you know, to, to learn that you're doing side hustle on Nickelodeon. We, we didn't even bring this up the last time we got together. But, dude, come on. You are really, really busy out there. I, I'm so busy, and I'm so blessed. It's been an honor to get to play Frankini, um, first on Henry Danger, then Danger Force, and now on Side Hustle in this massive crossover event. Uh, it's Frankini's definitely kept me busy, I'll, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> what is it like for you to be in these crossovers? Because you know fans, the people on this side of the screen are going, oh my God, oh my God, I watched that show, I watched that show, and they're all together on the same show. I think that it feels very tangible when, when we were doing it and just uh, had all the different casts interacting back and forth and just uh, the, watching the excitement of the producers was just the most was kind of the smallest indication that we got because we didn't unfortunately um, have an audience run through like we used to have back in the day, obviously, because COVID policies have changed all the exact way that we present our shows to the world. And we used to have a, a live audience of kids come to the dress rehearsal. So um, we just kind of had to trust that it is as big a deal as everyone in the room, which were like, you know, the, the grips, the camera operators, the producers, the writers, the directors were so excited that we just had to trust that they were right. And uh, looking at the reactions already to this massive, massive crossover, I think they were right. I think this is going to be a really big deal. You know what I like about you, Frankie, is that you never forget about those people that we don't get to see. You're always talking about the importance of the grips and stuff like that, because, I mean, without them, there wouldn't be. I say to this day that when I can make a camera operator or a grip laugh, that is <laughs> that's my ultimate goal. Um, and um, it's happened a couple times. It happened a couple times on this episode. Happened a couple times in the last episode of uh, Danger Force. They were like the camera operators just start laughing, and the directors are like, "That's impressive that you did that." <laughs> I'm like, "Thank you, thank you so much." Like you know, um, because it really is a full family. Like it, every single person that is on the team is the number one player on the team because there's a lot of moving parts and we need everybody to be on their job. So I'm, I am very appreciative of everyone on set. Do you guys ever do you guys ever stand around and go, okay, which one of us needs to be slime today because this is Nickelodeon? Oh my goodness. I think <laughs> that anyone who has seen anyone be slimed or been in the same room knows that it's not the most fun thing on the planet. So I don't think anyone wishes it upon anyone else, <laughs> but um it is it is part of the job. So it's we just look at it that way. I haven't been slimed in years, which I'm very <laughs> grateful for, but uh, it's been a while, but it is it is pretty nasty, I will tell you. It's not the nice feeling. You play the part of a villain. And when I first heard that, I went, no, Frankie's playing a villain? Oh, my God. I want to see this. Yeah, I do. I'm a very um, – so Frankini's character started as a YouTuber who would do anything, including, like, kidnapping, um, in order to get more likes on YouTube. And so that element of the character just kind of evolved into, you know what, I want to make everyone sing and dance all the time because my favorite place to exist is a musical. And now this third, this next phase of Frankini, he's trying to uh, steal magical objects in order to brainwash the world into becoming his backup dancers. (laughs) And uh, it is a lot of fun. I do get to dance quite a lot in this episode. And uh, it was just, it was an amazing, amazing, like, get feeling to get to be like the lead of this massive troupe of dancers. It was really cool. So is it all choreographed out or do we get to see actually Frankie dance the way that Frankie lets, lets the energy flow through him? Well, um, I'm so a little bit of both. Okay. A little bit of both is the answer. You know, the, the choreographer and I worked together really well. So he kind of let me be free and also said, like, what do you want to do here? And, like, he's uh, the same gentleman who choreographed the Henry Danger the Musical, which was, uh, if you haven't seen and, uh, Henry Danger the Musical, go go watch that as well right before this episode of Side Hustle because it was amazing. And uh, he would be like, what do you feel like we should do here? What do you feel like we should do here? So I would bring a couple of my things. He would fine-tune it, and then um, or he'd show me the choreography he came with for the day. And then I would kind of be like, well, what if I changed it to this? We had a great relationship. So, so great. 
So when, when you put together the, the energy and everything like that of everybody that's part of Side Hustle on Nickelodeon, that, that creative side, that journalist that's inside of you, because you love sto- sharing the stories of behind the scenes, do you find yourself documenting stuff so that you can do a future show or a future podcast on something like this? Yes, I do. I think, you know... Uh, I'm always trying to be very uh, cautious Mm -hmm. of everyone's privacy. You know, like I want to make sure that everyone's okay. So there's a lot of like, um, is this okay if we do this? Okay, great. But everyone wanted to make TikToks. Everybody wanted to make Instagram videos. I have all this content on my phone, which you just reminded me I actually have to go through and sift through (laughs) so that I can post it tomorrow. Um, But yeah, so you do. But again, like I like to be really respectful. And also I don't want anything to leak. And I don't want to be the one that's in tr- like made something leak. So I'm tr- I'm always nervous. <laughs> it is it is scary, isn't it? Because it, it's like there, there are times I'll be talking with, uh, let's say, one of the the singers on America's Got Talent or something like that, and they'll let something out. So I'm going and I'm, I'm going, no, I'm not letting this out. I'm, and I'll cut it out of the interview, and, and because it's like people don't need to yeah. know that. Yeah, that, and that's great. And we appreciate you so much for that, uh, for for having our backs. And also, like it's it's funny because. You know, there's an, I have another project coming up that I know I'm not allowed to talk about, but like I always feel like I <laughs> might slip and say something about. <laughs> so now, isn't part of the fun of a side hustle on Nickelodeon the fact that you guys are displaying original music? Oh yes, it is so fun that um, whenever I get to go and I work with Nikki he- Hexum, um, she also did the Henry Danger musical, and we get to uh, go in there and work original songs that she wrote, sometimes with Sam Martin, um, also another writer of uh, Henry Danger and Danger Force and uh, Fairly Odd Parents. So it's it's great to be on a show that has original music. I love to sing as well as, as getting to dance. And, you know, I've got several songs on iTunes with my voice on it because of this show. So it's, yeah. it's awesome. I think, And I think the original songs do really well. And, and this is how it affects me, Frankie, in the way that I'm a mobile entertainer. So when I go and do these high school dances, they'll say, do you have this song? And I'll say, where did you hear this song? <laughs> well, it was on Side Hustle on Nickelodeon, dude. Catch up. <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much. That makes me very, very happy. I'm, I hope this one is big, too. I think people will like it. Absolutely. So what is the best part about Frankie? When you look in the mirror, what, what is it that you see that, that the rest of us don't get the opportunity to see? Oh my goodness. I guess um, the best part about me that I get to see that nobody else sees is probably just that I have, I've calmed down so much in my life. Like I'm just, I've gotten to a place in my life where I'm grateful for every yep. single moment and every single day and every single minute and every single hour. Um, and that has been such a journey to get to that place. And I feel like I'm just calm and like I'm really in the center of the boat and the ocean is churning around me but like I'm okay and that's been a really interesting place to get to especially through COVID to be have come out on the other side and been kind of the better for it which is a Amazing. And, and it, it, I think when, when, when you live a lifestyle like that, that all of a sudden you become a magnet to creativity. All of a sudden the energy of the universe is saying, go to Frankie. He can do it. He'll, he'll get it done. Yeah. And I think I'm in a place now where like I am so centered that I'm capable of helping other people more, which has also been really, uh, a gra- I'm very grateful for that. Because for a while, you know, it was just, it was all about me, 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 because I was trying to get through this massive career shift in this phase of my life. And, you know, that is so draining. But now that I have a uh, found center in my own life and being able to help other people, like I just kind of feel like, like that's my purpose. That's why I'm here. Like I've kind of figured it out and well, that's, a good place to be. You know, I love you, man. Congratulations on Side Hustle on Nickelodeon. I can't wait to talk to you again in the future, sir. Literally next week for my next <laughs> announcement. Like, I'll see you again. <laughs> you be brilliant today, okay? Thank you so much. You have a great day.